so now that the card's put together like that and I've got the bare bones of it done, what I like to do is make the belly band and probably shouldn't make that until we've made, we've put the inserts in because it will get a bit thicker but anyway, I'm going to do that. I've just cut a, I've got a, a scrap piece of cardstock and I cut a 3 8 inch strip of it and it's the same cardstock card stock as the base of the card and I've punched this out of the Fancy Labels die, Tim Holtz and what I'm going to do get that bit of glue off there first um, I want to, this is cut at 8 and a quarter but I reckon you, you'd need at least um, 10 or 11 inches which would be better for you um, and what I'm going to do is probably get it here so I've got it lined up and so then with this line here center it sort of and then I'm going to Hold it over, slip it under, and do the same to the other side. But I'm just going to do it very loosely so that I've got room to um, populate the inside of this. So then this, they can be adhered onto that there. Now if I want to reinforce that, I probably should. So I've got another piece here that I will... Okay, so probably by there and there, all right. And put a bit of glue on it, wet glue, probably a bit better. Stick it down. Okay. And then, so that's at the front. So you won't see that because it will be hidden by that piece there. So we're going to heat emboss the um, sentiment on there. And I'm using a stamp from the My Favourite Things stamp set called together forever. That's it there. And this one says wishing you a beautiful today and a happy forever. And I'm going to heat emboss it with some gold embossing powder. So I'll be back. So I've got my embossing pillow here which I'm going to use on that Baroque on that fancy label piece of cardstock. To remove all the oils. Taking my Versamark and inking up my stamp and then I'm going to stamp it on and emboss it with some Ranger embossing powder in Queen's Gold. I'll try and get the centre of this. And that looks a bit crooked. Alright, and we'll soon see. It's a bit messy, so I might have to uh, do that with something else anyway. Let's we'll see. You can always remove the belly band and put a new one on it. Alright, so we'll heat emboss that and I will be back. And because I can't leave well enough alone, I'm going to take my gold leafing pen, Krylon gold leafing pen, and Go around the edge of that in the gold just to finish it off. And then once that's dry, I can then adhere it down to <clears throat> the belly band there. So it's gonna sit on there like that, and it's good because these points will be able, will help us line up the um, the center of that as well. So I'll be back when that gold is dry. 
So I want to use wet glue only because it will stay on. Um, so I'm just going to go from all over that band where we've joined the pieces. And I should have done that while it was on the card. But there we go, got it. And now I'm going to line that up so that it's even there. And then stick that down on there with the points in alignment. And there we go, that's on. Press it down. I'm going to take it off so that um, glue doesn't seep onto the card. There we go. Now I could have went that step further and added some gold leafing to the edge of that band, but you know, how far do I want to go? Okay, I'll be back and we'll go through, well I'll show you what I've done with the, and how I did the, um, the insides. So I'll be back. So I'm going to ink this up this piece of cardstock, just the same colour as the um, base of the card with some Versamark ink. Then going to apply some, what's this one? This is from Ranger. it's gold tinsel embossing powder. Now when that cools down I'm going to go to the um, big shop and punch out some hearts and balloon shapes and I'm going to, and I've already done this but what I do is use, these are just acetate or I think these are um, the overhead projector sheets. Um, but I also have used the plastic packaging that you get with your stamps and, and dies. And they're just cut about a, a quarter of an inch in um, width and by whatever length you want. I've just cut these at about four or five inches. You don't need that whole length, but um, yeah, so I just cut a few of them. Uh, while I was at it, so I've got some, and so I'll be back when I've uh, punched out everything. So I've just cut out a piece of um, cardstock, cardstock here. I punched, that was the other um, fancy labels die, but I just cut it down so that we had a bit of a fancy top there. Now I want to sit it in the front, but I want it to be able to be pulled out. So, and I want it to sit up enough so that it will um, show something there. Like, I think I might put congratulations there or from the both of us or whatever. But I want it to sit up about that far. So, what I thought, I cut a piece of cardstock down that would sit in there. And this is cut at two and three eighths. And we need to determine um, where I score it. So I want to bring it down there. So that's where it needs to be scored. Okay, so if we score it there and then cut off the excess and I'll tell you then. Well that's okay. We can actually put that there so it sits up the top. And if I sit that on it, nope got to bring it up so maybe that that one sits at the top there yep okay so I'm going to cut that down probably the same size will do so we're looking at say if we cut that down to looking at huh say th 
three and three eighths and we scored it at one and five eighths. It's not quite in half but that's what I've done there. So what I'm going to do now is if I sit that that way and then put that down there and so it's got to sit up there. Yep, okay, so I've got to adhere that to there just below that front section there. So I'm just going to use some wet glue so I've got a bit of um, manoeuvring room and I want to glue that down there. Then I want to burnish it. And then that one will sit there like that. Now I could probably cut that down a little bit more. I should so you don't see it, but it's there. Doesn't matter. Okay, so just it's there so you know, so the recipient knows that you just pull it out. Okay. Right, now I need to add the balloons. So what I do with the balloons that go in, that are going inside, or at first I just take my glossy accents, I take one of the hearts and I turn it over and right up that middle section there I just add some glossy accents and I take my strip of acetate and stick it down there so that it's in alignment with the centre of that heart and just put it to one side and continue on and do the rest of them. And while they are drying, um, I'll, I'll wait till they've all dried, sorry, and um, then come back and we can put the backs on because I like to have backs on these. I don't like to see the ugly dirty side of them. So. I shall be back when I've done enough of these heart balloons. Ooh. So I'm using my fine liner applicator. Um, I've got glossy accents in here. It's awesome. And I've just punched the um, same heart out of the cardstock, the very vanilla cardstock that I used for the uh, card base and the dividers and I'm just lining them up and then hearing them on the back. Now these are shorter strips of acetate that I'd had uh, cut off ones that I'd done before so that shows you that you don't need a lot. They don't need to be that long the acetate pieces. So there we go. I've done 10, whether I use them all or not, it's another thing. Um, now, where to go? Oh, okay. So, also I have done that. Embossed it. Happy for you both and they can write on the back of it and it'll sit in there like that. So, I want to adhere these hearts inside and try and find the glossy accents again. Did I put it back? No, surely not. Yes, I did. Wrong place though. Okay. So all I'm doing is putting some acetate on the front. That's the back there. That's the front, the glitter area. Let me just... Now, if I put that in and then so fold the card up the way it's going to be folded so that you know you won't see it when it's closed up. Okay.
Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay. And then, I think it needs something on the back. I wonder. I could put that there like that, but then we still haven't got anything for them to write on. I guess we could put that there, but then they really can't get to it, can they? So that's going to have to be it, to sit in there like that, and they can write on the back of it. Okay, with this one though, what I think I'll do again is um, ink around the edges with the gold leaf, gold leafing pen. While it dries before I put it back in. And then we're done. Okay, thanks for watching guys and until next time. Bye.